So this was me 10 years ago, and this was me two months ago. Pretty much looks the same, right? I know. Oh my God. So I'm going to share with you exactly how I'm able to clear up my skin. This is what my skin looked like before. And how I was able to clear up my skin and reverse the aging process okay i'm gonna share that with you i'm not gonna hold back so grab your snacks grab your notebook and your pans because we are going to be spilling the tea and i will not be holding back i will not be gatekeeping i'm gonna tell you the truth okay so no the first thing i did this is the was the biggest one but i stumbled upon this by accident for my skin now if you're watching this you if you watch my other videos you might hear me talk about this concept but it was a game changer for my skin as well now it is water fasting guys i am not kidding now when i went on water fasting the first time for my skin it wasn't because it was intentionally for my skin my skin just happened to have a crazy eczema breakout i'll try to put a picture here for you guys it was like rash is everywhere my whole body i felt like i had leprosy like that's literally how my body looked and i i was going through a divorce i was highly stressed i was emotionally eating i was eating a lot of dairy which i'm not supposed to be having because i have eczema and I was just going through so much. But the thing that pushed me over the edge was, that really broke me, wasn't the skin thing, it wasn't the eczema, it wasn't the emotional eating, it wasn't the fact that I gained like 35 pounds, I was 35 pounds over my normal weight. Like it wasn't any of those things. I went to the doctor for a regular checkup and she was just looking at my, my whole file and everything and she's like, huh. You know you may be pre-diabetic you should do a comprehensive blood test to find out to make sure you know to know if you you are pre-diabetic or what's going on with your system and the moment she said that i was like no because my mom if you don't know my story my mom died when i was 15 years old she was diabetic my grandma on her side was diabetic like and i'm just like i am not going down that rabbit hole so the moment i'm walking home from the the doctor i'm calling i'm on the phone with my sister and i'm like crying because i'm like i she just said i might be pre-diabetic i'm not here for this like because for me i my mom died right so i'm like my my mind goes to the worst places so i call my sister and I, I go home and i'm like immediately i'm like no i'm changing my life this is not acceptable this is not i'm not doing this and the funny thing is that was the same week too that i had found out on social media that my ex-husband he's my ex-husband now but he was my husband at the time was with another woman and this was on so i found out on social media and i was just like and he was lying he's like he's like no she's just my friend and i'm like you think i'm stupid and like all this stuff and it was just like all of that was happening in the same week and i just knew that the health thing for me i was like that's the one thing right now i know to control so i was like i'm going on water fasting because i'm resetting my body i'm gonna start eating clean i'm gonna cut out all this junk food and emotional eating and i am done with this foolishness so i went on water fasting i went on a five day water fast i went to the store same day bought a whole bunch of bottles like big six gallon bottles of bottles of water packed them up in the fridge and that was my food for the next five days and while doing that i was going through the grieving of the, the relationship and the emotions and crying which listen carefully because this is also a part of how i cleared up my skin i need you to listen to me because this is not conventional wisdom this is unconventional but it works so anyway i'm crying i'm feeling my emotions i'm on this water fast at the end of the water fast, my entire body clears up. My skin completely clears up. Why? And then not just that. I look in the mirror. I've lost some of this weight. I'm looking in the mirror. My skin is glowing. Also, I had brain fog from all of the junk food I was eating. My brain was clear. I could think. I could remember things. I had all this energy. It was crazy. I was like, water fasting is the best thing in, in the world. Like, why is nobody telling people to do, to do this? Like, why do people think you're crazy if you say you're not going to go eat food? Or you're going to just drink water for the next three to five days. Like, why do people think that's crazy? This is, this is like a gift from God. Water is his life and i'm like a huge advocate so when i look in the mirror i started to look so supple my face was supple my eczema had cleared up my hair was like moist and i have very dry skin i have eczema prone super dry skin and all the tears you know all that stuff so number one is water fasting why because when you are on water fasting your body goes on something called goes into something called autophagy autophagy is basically self-eating so your cells are eating up the damaged cells and recycling them so if you have a wound or a scar or damaged skin cells or 
damaged skin cells your body begins to it doesn't have anything else to do you're not eating so it's not digesting so all it can do is go through and rearrange the cells by eating up the damaged ones and replenishing your body and you're also having water so you're flushing out all the toxins as well so it is super powerful water fasting number one water fasting which by the way if you want me to do another video on water fasting comment and let me know and i will do a more in-depth one or maybe i'll do a round of water fasting and we can do it together just comment and let me know and if it's already up i'll put it in like the the, the cards and you can like go ahead and click and watch that okay but i oh, and again this is not medical advice so go consult your healthcare practitioner disclaimer 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 all that stuff but it worked like a charm for my skin then at the end of that year, I did it again, but that time I did just three days and I was just like, oh my goodness, the same thing happened. I would go into the store and they would ask me for my card when I was buying alcohol for Christmas. They're like, can we see some ID please? I'm like, what do you mean you need ID? I'm in my thirties, what are you talking about? <laughs> They're like, um, no, like, we still need to see the ID because you look really young. And they look at my card, they're like, okay ma'am, <laughs> okay miss, <laughs> give me back my ID. I'm like, crazy stuff right so that's number one that's how you reverse the aging process go like cut out the toxins and then what happens is after you finish doing the water fasting don't just go back to eating burgers and drinking crap like you start eating properly afterwards because the things that you put in your body after that will create the cells that form your body so that's another thing your nutrition what are you eating if you know that if and and i would recommend doing like a food sensitivity test or just watching your body and seeing what kind of foods how your body reacts to different foods if you're waking up and your face is puffy you know is it some kind of too much salt is it too much sugar is it what's going on in your body so what will happen is after you come out of the water fast your cravings for those things will be much less or non-existent actually um, and when you taste sweet things or salty things you'll be able to taste just how sweet and salty they are because your tongue your tongue has refreshed itself and so the taste buds are more like sharp to picking up certain um, flavors so that's the second thing your nutrition which obviously you know that we talk about that all the time the next thing and this is one that i have to say to my friends who i see them having breakouts and they have like a 50 step routine sweetie you don't need that many products like honestly stop with the 50 million products because what's happening is and i'm actually I actually did a certification when i lived in paris i did a certification as an esthetician right so i studied skincare but not just that i'm a nerd and a biology like like a lover of biology that's why the water fasting thing fascinates me so much but i also am a biology nerd when it comes to skin and the thing is that you have to remember that your skin cells are regenerating right your skin cells are dying and so if you're always using these chemical exfoliants and then you're using physical exfoliants like you're using scrubs and chemical exfoliants and then this product and that product and this acid and that acid and you're using all these stuff some of these things they don't work well together and some of them don't work well on your skin type and some of them what they're doing is they're creating a thin layer of skin so your skin is more susceptible to scars and scratches and dirt and germs and your pores are more infiltrated by the pollutants in the air if your pillowcase is not clean all that stuff so you, I need you to simplify your skincare routine you know like people talk about not sleeping in makeup and you really probably shouldn't but like the girl that's in front of you here I occasionally sometimes don't clean up the makeup and I know you should not I know as a trained esthetician you should clean the makeup off your face but I'm showing you that like even with my simple skincare routine and not always doing the best things for my skin my skin is still looking great reason being again I'm not doing a complicated thing so you need a cleanser and a moisturizer okay a cleanser and a moisturizer and I recommend some kind of like mask, you know, at, at some point in the week. That's, keep it simple, keep it simple. You don't need a bunch of stuff because again, when you're doing this exfoliant and then this acid thing here and this one thing here, and a lot of these things are clogging up your pores or causing your skin cells to become so thin and your pores to be so exposed that you're taking in every single pollution, that pollutant that is in the air or around you. And I also have a little nephew, right? And he has, he had eczema and what the doctor recommended was for him to experience and play in a lot of dirt because what happens is that when you are used to bacteria and dirt and germs <laughs> guys bear with me here but genuinely speaking when your skin and your body is not so overly clean you actually have a better um, immune system 
And so certain things, your body's fighting against them. If you're always cleaning it off and da -da 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 -da, all that stuff, you're so super clean. The smallest of dirt or germ or bacteria is going to cause a major infection for you or a major breakout for you or a major flare up for you because your body has no immunity towards these things. So simplify and, and let your human body do what it does, which is have an immune system that works. And I know you're thinking, girl, these are your secret tips for me. You thought I was going to give you some this oil and this cream. No, this is what really works, okay? I'm not saying the oils and the creams don't work, but those are things that I add on top of my, my nutrition, on top of the water fasting to cleanse my body of toxins, including my skin, and on top of literally keeping it simple, not adding a whole bunch of stuff and complicating things that can give me irritation here. Because sometimes you might have an irritation to just one ingredient, a preservative in a skincare product, and that can cause a flare up or a rash. Then you start touching it, then it gets infected, then now, you know what I mean? Then you have scarring, like, no, we're not doing that. Listen, if you're loving this video, put a thumbs up. I'm giving you the unconventional ways to reverse the aging and to glow up. Like, let your skin glow up and to like completely clear up your skin. So put a like. And if you've not subscribed, baby girl, what are you doing? We're not even done yet. We're just, we're, we're barely even touching the surface. We've got some more to go. Because as I said, I'm not holding back. I'm not gatekeeping and giving you everything. So hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Now, this one is my favorite one of all. And a lot of you this is your biggest problem because maybe you don't even have that bad of a skin maybe you keep your things simple you know you eat properly and you're like why is my skin not doing what it needs to do stress you're under too much stress <laughs> like honestly i lead a very low stress lifestyle that means i don't let things stress me why stress is a state of being right things can come to you that are stressors but how you respond to them determine if it stresses you or not i lead a very peaceful and calm life and i get a lot of sleep sleep stress oh my gosh those things your skin is the largest organ on your body it's going to reflect what's going on inside. So inside, if you have disharmony, your body is gonna express that in your skin. Hence the, 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 the flare ups and the breakouts and the wrinkles and the, the, the downturned mouth, like smile, oh, you know what I mean? So stress, so leading a low stress lifestyle. So here's how I go about leading a low stress lifestyle. I actually face my, my problems head on. What happens is that you may be sitting on things that bother you. Somebody said something, it doesn't sit well with you, you don't say anything about it, it's there, it's bubbling up. No, I go and I say, hey, so-and-so, you said this thing, it bothers me. Guess what? <sighs> I'm releasing the stress. You think it's gonna stress you to have a conversation, and with some people, yes, it might be a stressor, but you're not walking with the stress, you're expressing it, having a conversation, and you're facing the thing that's in the way. And that's not burdening you because when it's in your body your body is feeling that 24 7 and the resonance of that is emitting into your skin and into your pores your sweat is now toxic because it has all of this cortisol in it that you're like overly releasing and that stuff is adding to the problems in your pores right so you want to lead a low stress lifestyle that means boundaries that means telling people no that means having tough conversations that means some things need to get cut out of your life that means you want to be bold and brave and by the way if this is something that you have a problem doing i have a program called rebel which is the beautiful rebel she's the one who takes no shit <laughs> she says no to whatever is a no for her she gets what she wants she she has excellent boundaries she has bad b boundaries uh, and so I'll drop the link for that in the comments because that program is a game changer. I actually have in there examples of how to have the conversation with the people who are stressing you out so that you're not stressed out. And we do the inner work around healing the things so that you're not walking with emotional stress because emotional stress is one of the biggest things that's aging you, right? When you are not emotionally stressed, you are ageless. I have several gray hairs and they all came from my divorce my ex like my my ex created those because i was in emotional stress but the moment i was able to heal and move and clear and work through those things and set the boundaries and walk away and choose myself and all that stuff i became in the state of equilibrium and i could have no stress and that low stress lifestyle leads to glowing skin
less stress. That means being bold enough to walk away from the things that are stressing you, having tough conversations, feeling the tough emotions, processing, healing, going through them. You will reverse the aging. Which leads me to one of the other favorite things that I do that helps me to reverse the aging is I cry. Did you know that they tested tears? And what they found was that tears hold toxins. When they tested tears, they found toxins in them. So when you're not crying, when you're holding in your emotions, what's happening is you're keeping that toxin in your body, but guess what? It's gonna come out in your skin. It's gonna come out, if you're not peeing it out and you know number twoing it out, it's gonna come out in your sweat. It's gonna come out on your face and it's going to cause breakouts, rashes, problems. So when you cry, you release all those toxins, you let them out, you cry. So I have this little running joke that I say, I cry daily. Like I take, I, I have a daily dose of tears, like vitamins, right? Like every day you would take your vitamins, I have a daily dose of tears. So I cry once a day, <laughs> I cry, cry. The more you cry, tears are anti-aging, I promise you. Stop trying to be strong, stop, stop trying to be tough. Stop trying to be like, I'm not gonna let them have my emotions. No, no, have emotions. Jesus wept, Jesus wept. If Jesus can weep, what do you think? You think you can't cry? Baby girl, cry, it's okay to cry. Um, and Jesus wept, which means he was like on the on the floor, kicking his feet in the air, bawling, whoa, like he was, and he was wilding out on the floor from tears. So tears, tears are so healing for your soul. They help to reduce that stress, and then they help your skin to glow because one, they have anti-aging properties, and two, they also release the toxin from, toxins from your body that would have otherwise come out and cause your skin to just be dull and sullen looking. Oh my god, aren't you just loving this video? Like, I'm literally giving you all of the tea, the secret tea, the things they don't tell you. They're like, oh, use this serum, use that oil. I'm telling you, I use none of those things. And this was me 10 years ago, and this was me two months ago. Same, 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 same. Why? Why? Because of what I'm telling you here, okay? So the last tip that I'm going to give you about reversing the aging, clearing up your skin, is your unconscious, your subconscious mind. Like literally when you're, when you have a concept of, oh my God, my skin is so gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm glowing. Oh my God, I look the same as I did 20 years ago or 10 years ago or five years ago. Oh my God, I've literally not aged. When you have that as your self-concept in your mind, you create that in your reality. The reason is your imagination doesn't understand fact from fiction. It goes based on what you feel. It doesn't care about fact or fiction. It goes based on feelings. And so when you have this feeling of, oh my God, I look the same as I used to look. Oh my God, I look so young. Oh my God, I'm glowing. Oh my God, my skin is so gorgeous. Your body says, oh, okay, well, let's, let's, let's do that then. So it begins to rework things to match that. This is why, if you don't believe me, I want you to think about when you have like a headache or you feel some kind of pain and then you start reading about symptoms of like the worst things. You know, like when you start to become like a hypochondriac, you start reading all these symptoms about like what ailment you have, then all of a sudden your eye wasn't hurting, but now your eye's kind of hurting. You know, all of a sudden, like, you know, I I'm not really hearing so clearly, like you were hearing perfectly fine, but you're like creating this because your body's hearing what you're saying and it's responding to you because you are the master of, you lead your body, you guide your body, you tell your body the things and your body pays attention. It is just responding to you. So it's the same when you are delusional and you have this super self-concept um, self of like, oh my God, I'm so gorgeous. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so beautiful. Oh my God, my skin is glowing. And like, oh my God, my skin is glowing. Oh my God, my skin is glowing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, my skin is glowing. I literally look the same, like I've not even aged. Oh my God, I look 23. Oh my God, I look 26. Oh my God, I look 15, like whatever. Like, oh my God, <laughs> I've literally not even aged. Like you tell yourself that, but with feeling, because feeling is what creates the frequency and that's what your body, your unconscious mind is listening for because then it gets its instructions and it starts to work in your actual physical body. That is why they say 80 plus percent of ailments are psychosomatic, meaning 80 plus percent of ailments that people have start in the mind, they start in your psyche. So it's the same, your physical body is responding to your thought pattern. So when you change your thought pattern, you will allow your body to create something different. And one of the best times to do this is just like playing it in your subconscious 
like these affirmations of like oh my god i'm so gorgeous all this stuff about your skin like while you're sleeping or while you're going through your regular day to day i actually have a, an affirmation video on this for you i'll pop it up here so you can go ahead and listen or i'll put it in the description so you can go ahead and find that and just have that playing in the background of your day like while you're working just have it playing in the background and just let that sink into your psyche about like how gorgeous you are how beautiful your skin looks how supple you look how glowing you look like all of it like oh my god you've like literally reverse aging like you're so ageless you're so timeless like i'll pop that there for you and you can go ahead and listen to that video all right you know i'm probably just go to my channel and like watch all the videos anyway because there's probably like juicy stuff that's gonna help change your life i can't wait to hear your results and your wins in the comments so make sure to come back and share and i'll see you in my next video bye